basketball african league african league that happened in egypt uh with uh city oil as a uh, uh, bowing out with a one to five uh one to five uh start against the teams and did not make the playoffs so what city oil has take from this and what did you uh observe from the, the players and city oilers performance in the in the ball first and foremost i would say the recruitment was wanting <laughs> the recruitment was wanting i would say that yeah. the kind of players oil has recruited mm. were not the kind of players expected them to bring on board uh even the captain himself was interviewed and he said it hope next time we do a better recruitment because generally <laughs> because generally the recruitment was wanting because everyone was complaining oh, what's mm. up with these players these are these are the kind of players we're used to seeing of course they missed the services for london jones uh, due to Egypt, of course, he plays in Egypt. Egypt played some that again there <laughs> because they are going to compete against. He was going to compete. Was going to be competing against their team El Hill. and they played some that again there. So Oilers missed out on him. Then also Robert Junior was injured. Uh, that's also a big blow. Then even the coaches' rotation somehow somewhere. I did get it. Uh, he didn't use more of the local players. He had three. He had three weeks with these players. Meaning, as a coach who is experienced, you can get to know the strength and the weaknesses of these players. But he didn't give. He didn't give them the time of like be on the floor. Apart from James Sokello, a Titus, and Tony Bowie, but what more playing time on the lock from the local base players? Fire that. I don't know. Let me say twenty or eighteen minutes. Actually, I'm gonna say El Highway. In the first round, when he played good defense, and everyone was like, "Wow, how come they're not using him every now and then?" So even the coach himself, his rotation wasn't as good as we expected it to be. Uh, they, of course, they missed the services of Bandage Rooney, who has been their coach for over ten years. He knows, he knows how these players, he knows the players so well. But as a coach, they're telling you these are national team players. They played basketball at the continental level before, so they know they know how to play basketball. They know the they can control the, the pressure, the tempo, and everything, but you're not giving them playing time. And once you put them on, they deliver. Eh? Then you, you make the same mistake, you don't put them back on. The, the players themselves, they brought in, were playing ISO basketball. That's like, if I have the ball, I have to do everything by myself. They aren't executing the plays so well, which the coach is calling, and you're still putting them on. The player makes over four turnovers, but you still, put it, still keep him on, on the court. You'll be like, Lord, you've made three turnovers in a row. Let me sub you, let me bring in someone else to do a good job. But you're still putting in court and you're doing the same mistakes. You know, generally, it was a bad recruitment and the coach also, the rotation was completely off. It was completely off from the coach. That's why we couldn't go far. Yeah, and uh, you're speaking of the turnovers, there was a lot of turnovers. Yeah, I was looking at, uh, especially when the team really progresses with, with the ball and reaches the paint. We just turn over the ball. We can really close the gap, and we really lacked a lot of mid-range shots. Our players were not really good at mid-range shots, especially against Bangi, with which had a lot of really uh, huge players, and they really protected the paint and the rim very well. So the only option was really have these uh, mid-range shots and reduce on the turnovers. Yeah, to 